All right, uh, October's National Pasta Month, and who knows better uh, pasta better than Jim Oppet from Andiamo? You can see he's already hard at work, and Alicia mentioned it, a, uh, a pasta with a wild boar ragu sauce, and you're jumping right in making the pasta. What'd you just do? We're not messing around here. We put a reps, uh, recipe on your website, mm -hmm. so we're going to show you how to make homemade pasta. A little bit of semolina flour, okay. which is actually made from durum wheat. We have a regular white flour, which you're probably very familiar with from right. making different things at home. Mm -hmm. A little bit of egg and olive oil. It's a very simple and recipe. That's it to make pasta. Look at how quick this goes together. We've been here for about 20 seconds. The base of our dough is already starting to form, if yeah, you can it's see. Thickening, thickening up. I so. would go ahead then and get in there with my hands. Mm -hmm. And after you knead that for probably about a minute or two, it's going to take on a nice, beautiful okay. texture of dough. I like right. to move it to the counter. And what we slide around work here it with be... my hands. So this is what our dough will look like. And you can see it's a little coarse, yeah. feels a little gritty and sandy. So it almost feels like polenta before it's cooked. You're in, exactly in right. Look at you. Quite the savvy cook, aren't oh, you? Oh, well, you know, I try. So what I do is actually I could keep uh, working this by mm -hmm. hand and keep mixing it, but I'm going to let the machine do the work for me. These are great little machines you can buy at um, all different types of local gourmet stores. So if I pass the dough through here, right. it's going to actually have the effect that it would be if I'm mixing it. So remember how it felt? Just a couple seconds ago, yeah, it had that real, like you said, polenta kind of coarse right. type feel yep. to it. Well, as I pass it through here a couple times, and there's different thicknesses on your machine. They're all very similar. So you start off at the thickest setting. I go ahead and pass it through. Each time I pass it through, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit thinner. And this is the way you guys do it at Andiamo? So you're we make all of our pastas by hand at Andiamo. We've been in business for 26 years, and that's been one of our staples. All of our pastas made fresh from scratch every day. We brought some samples, which I'm going to talk to you about. Sure. Well, I just want you to see the, feel that now. See yeah, how it's starting yes, to get a lot smoother. Absolutely. And, and so you have different types of pasta over there that you make, but they all start out like this. They all start out like this. They're all handmade. Uh, we have obviously a little bit larger machines than right. this, but uh, we do and the roll executive them all chef isn't hand. doing all the work. You, you have people for that, right? Oh, come on now. Oh, come I on. I like no, to cook no, a little you, bit. I, you, I'm sure you do. Now, what types of pasta do you have here that you've made? Uh, well, sort I'm going to show you. Yeah, I just want to show you how I get to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this through. Mm -hmm. So once I get to like setting number three, I've got a nice, now smooth, delicate dough. Right. I like to keep a little bit of semolina on hand. So mm -hmm. now when I go ahead and cut my fettuccine, it's not going to clump up on me. Oh, okay. So that helps the noodles at this point from sticking together. So as I pass it through, and I want to show you how we get to all these different types of noodles. We have about a minute 20 left. Okay, right. well, let's so go ahead and drop this yeah, in because right. these take about 60 seconds to cook from the fresh date. So we're going to go ahead and get those in our boiling water. So uh, about, a, about 60 seconds. So that sounds like most people at home probably overcooked their pasta. Well, that's because they're using dry store-bought pasta, and mm -hmm. that's about the only option um, unless you make pasta. And those probably take about 7 to 10 minutes to cook. Okay. So as we cut our noodles here, oh, we just come. want to, okay. we just want to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour, a little mm -hmm. bit of semolina, because they have to dry it. These I made about a half an hour ago. You can okay. see the color difference as Absolutely, they start to dry. Yeah. But the beautiful thing is this freezes very nicely. Mm -hmm. I have a linguine here. We also have some that we dyed with a little bit of spinach. Right. So we have a couple different varieties of noodles. So really, homemade pasta is very simple to go ahead and cook at home. Large pot, you can see how big my pot of water is here. It's very important that you have a high amount of boiling salted water mm -hmm. in relation to your pasta. Right, right. So a simple recipe, you can make this in about five or ten minutes at home. The wild boar ragu, it's hearty. It's a nice, wonderful autumn dish, simple to make at home. So once your pasta is cooked, uh, make sure you don't rinse your pasta. That's a big misnomer too. Most people like to go ahead, drain mm -hmm. their pasta, and then they rinse it with hot water. All the starch and all the flavor is it's, definitely it's in the pasta there. Right off. So you don't want to do that? You're going to hold that plate for me? Look I, at you, I chef. Right here. My man. Now, what else are you guys doing uh, very quickly because we're running out of time here uh, for National Pasta Month? Well, we're going to have all of our homemade pasta dishes are featured at all of our restaurants all the time. We're getting into holidays and catering, so we want to definitely talk about book and holiday parties. We have big promotions going on with all of our holiday parties at all of our stores, offering gift cards <laughs> and different things as bonuses. So. That's our wild boar porcini mushroom ragu with homemade yeah. pasta. It looks fantastic. Jim Oppet from Andiamo, thank you so much for joining My us. Pleasure. Thanks this for looks fantastic. Uh, again, October is National Pasta Month celebrated at Andiamo.